हायर रिलेटेड हैप्पी दिवाली होप यू ऑल हैव अ वंडरफुल दिवाली होप द न्यू ईयर ब्रिंग्स अ लॉट ऑफ जॉय अ लॉट ऑफ हैप्पीनेस एंड फुलफिल्स ऑल योर डिजायर्स दिस दिवाली वी विल दे इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन विद आवर कजिंस फ्रॉम बोथ साइड्स फ्रॉम माय साइड एंड माय हस्बैंड साइड एंड इट वाज लॉट ऑफ फन इट वाज ऑल अबाउट After chatting till the hours of the morning, we wanted to be in Calcutta, but unfortunately, it did not happen. So, next best thing was to be in Pune, and we were there. Uh, Diwali is all about inclusion. I think the reason I wanted to speak about inclusion is because the recipe today that we have is unfortunately deep rooted with a very strong and stringent uh, tradition of ours, which is forced upon, uh, which used to be forced upon. A lot of people describe us the best ones. The recipe that we have today has stemmed from because my mother started uh, looking for alternative recipes for both her mother and her mother-in-law, who were widows and who had to kind of chose to give up color, give up non veg, and live a more austere life after their husbands passed away. In fact, my dear, my father's mother lost her husband when she was fifty. She kind of stopped living life after that. She kind of gave up everything because that's what the society demanded of her. So uh, I'm sure she must have missed the uh, kind of the big block, the kind of things that we go. My mother would always try to make some alternative recipes that they would have with fish or chicken. And today we are making uh, patuli. Patuli is basically Bengalis have patuli fish. The fish is mostly patuli is basically made with the fish in the mustard and the coconut paste, which is wrapped in uh, banana with banana smoky flavor. Fills the fish with this amazing flavor. But my mother would make a patuli using pani because that's what my grandmas were allowed to have. I personally prefer the pani patuli because fish has a very strong uh, taste of its own. But uh, the smell, the smokiness of the banana is much better than pani. And also, after so much of uh, fried food and you know, sweets, this recipe is kind of you know it, it uh, cleanses your palate and uh, helps you. Bring that restored balance to your body. I I believe you have it. 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 This is an excellent uh, palate cleansing and really you know, taste bud infusing uh, recipe which you will thoroughly enjoy after all the sweet treats that you have during the party. So do keep watching the video. To make the patturi in a mixer add 4 tablespoon poppy seeds 3 tablespoon mustard seeds slice and add 2 green chilies chop and add handful of coriander leaves slice half coconut and add it to the mixer Pour two tablespoon of water. Grind to paste. Make thick slices of paneer, about four hundred grams of it.
pour the paste that you made and rub the paste well. Add 2 tablespoon of salt. Add half tablespoon sugar. Pour half cup of mustard oil. Massage and mix well so that the masala seep into the paneers. Set it aside to marinate for 15 minutes. Slice 3 green chilies and keep them aside. Take the banana leaves and warm them a little bit over the flame. Cut the banana leaves into 4 inch squares. Grease the leaves with some mustard oil. Put a piece of paneer in it and put some pastes. Put one green chilli. Coat very well with the paste, drizzle some oil and fold it from all sides. Tie with a thread by looping it multiple times from all the sides. Make all of the paneer cubes by wrapping into banana leaves one by one and keep them ready. In a tawa, warm 2 tablespoon of mustard oil. Put 2-3 pieces of the paneers Cover and cook Flip them and cook on both sides When the banana leaves turn brownish, it's ready.
take them out one by one and serve them. You have to unwrap the banana leaves to have the paneer. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for all the love that you have shown us. Don't forget to like the video. Please share because it's free and all your love and sharing matters to us. And uh, to spread the words that you, you like our channel. And uh, do subscribe. Thank you so much and see you again next week. Bye.